the issue of Wahhabism is a sad issue. And I invite all the Muslims in the world to wake up and realize that this is the same plot that was ma made against the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and the Sahaba. When they adhered to the truth and they were strangers, the people started calling them names, accused them of the most evil of things in order to keep the rest of the people away from the da'wah of Islam. And unfortunately, today among the Muslims, history repeats itself. Anyone who carries the banner of Tawheed and worshipping Allah alone, names must be given to them and the, the most favorite for them is Wahhabis. So many Muslims come to this country afraid and they are warned before they come here, be careful. Or they, so I was speaking to a brother in the masjid, I gave a little talk after the masjid about the 15th of Sha'ban. You know, there's no Sahih Hadith. There are two narrations, one in Ibn Majah, uh, one in Ibn Majah, one in Ibn Habban. Both of them are da'if. There are other fabricated narrations. The ones that may have been okay are actually both weak. And you know, all the festivals of 15th of Sha'ban are done today. So I gave a talk about this is that from the Sunnah, this is a bid'ah, whatever. After I was done, the people are, you know, you know, people are shocked. And one man said, Brother, you know, I've been doing this for 65 years. 65 years. I can't believe that you're saying this is not from the Sunnah. I said, Brother, alhamdulillah, you know, alhamdulillah, Allah allowed you to know before you pass away. Alhamdulillah, you lived 65 years not, not doing it. Now you know. And then another one came and said, You know, you know, I cannot tell my father. He called his father. His father told him, Tomorrow's Eid. <laughs> Wallahi, with these words. So, you know, I was like, Subhanallah. He told him tomorrow's Eid, so the man, he can't even tell his father. Because as soon as he tells his father, Baba, this is not from the Sunnah, his father ala tool will say, ding, 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 Wahhabi, and then the son is out. He's out. Khalas. He was, he was affected. It's like, a, you know, the, the swine flu, it's a Wahhabi flu. He's infected with the flu, he's done. You know, pray janazah on him. He became a muwahid. That's really, that's the reality of things. People are scared from Wahhabiya. Brothers, don't be scared. Shaykh al-Islam, Muhammad Abdul Wahhab, brought nothing new. He brought the same thing of the Imams of the Madahib and the A'imma of the Salaf. He brought nothing new. Don't believe me? Read his books. They are clear, clear in the message. And you know how they trick people before? They would give him a book that would say Muhammad Abdul Wahhab. He would throw it away. Said, oh, oh, this is deviance. So what they did is they printed the same book, put another name. They put another name, they read. So this is a wonderful book, brother. <laughs> Said, brother, this is the same guy that you know. So, oh, no, this book is no good. So the issue became what? <coughs> sickness. It's a sickness against the name. So in defense of Wahhabiyyah, in defense of the Wahhabis, we are not a sect. We are the Muslims who love to follow the Quran and the Sunnah strictly. People call us Wahhabis, Allah al Musta'an. People want to call us other names, Allah al Musta'an. That doesn't affect the truth. The Prophet وسلم, said, They shall remain a group of my ummah. Upon the truth, they will not be affected by anyone who goes against them or does anything else. They will remain, and we ask Allah to make us among them. Why are we so confident? Because we don't bring any philosophy into the deen, nor do we reject any hadith or ayah. We go strictly by the Quran and the Sunnah. They say, Go there, we go there. Come here, we come here. Khalas. This is our methodology, clear like the sun. There could be no deviants there. But you speak to the other groups, you speak to these other people, and you can never get a clear-cut Islam. Everything has subliminal messages, there's, you know, mysticism and depth, and all these things, nothing is clear. SubhanAllah, major contradiction. So I invite everyone to become a Wahhabi, as in, worship Allah alone, and worship none with him, and follow the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد